Hey guys, so this is my first official map content video recording. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about area and perimeter of rectangles, and we're going to get a tiny little bit into the area of triangles for those of you that feel like you want to go a little bit farther with this content. Alright, so let's get started. Um, I've got this software that allows me to broadcast my video uh, right alongside this PowerPoint presentation that's right here. So you guys can follow along with the words and the PowerPoint that I made while I'm talking, just like we're in class. All right, so first I have to start with a little story. My brother and I love adopting pets. And when I turned 18, that meant that we could adopt them without my mom's permission, even though we were still living at home. And the result of that was that we went to the Humane Society and adopted this dog named Pickle, who is right there. Um, who still lives with my mom and is very, 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 very sweet, but really energetic. So we brought her home and she was running around the house and tearing things up. And my mom was horrified and said that we had to build this area, this play area for her out in the backyard. So Mike went out there and he looked at the dimensions of the backyard and he came up with this drawing that's pictured over here in the PowerPoint for this play area that we wanted to build pickle. But we needed to put a, put a fence around it. So the area was going to be 16 feet long and 8 feet wide, and it was going to be a perfect rectangle. So the two parallel lines were going to be the exact same length on either side. So we had to figure out how much fencing to buy. Well, to do that, all we had to do was figure out the perimeter of the rectangle. Now, the perimeter of a shape is the total length of all the edges of that shape. So for a rectangle, it's really easy. Um, you just add up the four sides. Ours was 16 plus 8 plus 16 plus 8, which is 48 feet. Uh, the perimeter of our little play, play area for pickle was 48 feet. Now, when we wanted to figure out how much space she'd actually have to run around, that was a little bit of a different calculation. That was how we figured out the area of Pickle's playpen. Um, to find the area of a rectangle, you multiply the length times the width. And the area just tells you the total space that a shape takes up, or all the stuff that's inside of that, that shape. Um, all the stuff that's inside of the perimeter, basically. So for us, when you multiply the length, it was 16 times the width, which was 8. Uh, the area for Pickle's play space was 128 feet squared. And if you look at the picture on the PowerPoint, you'll see that there's, 20, there's 16 squares going along the this, this space, and there's 8 squares that go up and down the space. And if you add them all up, you're more than welcome to pause the video and count them, it comes out to 128 squares total. So we were really getting pickle 128 square feet to run around this space that had a perimeter of 48 feet. Now, once we know how to figure out the area and perimeter of a rectangle, it's super easy to figure out the area of a triangle. Because when, when we draw a diagonal line to opposite corners of a rectangle, we're creating two triangles. So when we split a rectangle in half diagonally, it creates two equal triangles. So the area of a triangle is basically just half the area of a rectangle. If you're talking about Pickle's play area, all you would do would be to find the area of the rectangle and divide it by 2. Because anytime you divide something by 2, you're finding out what half of that number is. So, when we talk about area of triangles, instead of saying length times width, like we do with rectangles, we say base times height. It makes it a little bit easier when we start talking about triangles that aren't right triangles. Um, but for right now, we can use the exact same measurements. 8 feet times 16 feet, or 16 feet times 8 feet, gives us 128 feet, which we found out last time when we figured out the area of the whole play space. Now, if we divide that by 2, it gives us 64 feet. And that's uh, the area of that triangle. So any triangle that you have, if you just do the base times the height, get that number, and then divide it by 2, that's going to give you the area of that triangle. All right, so if you feel like you kind of understand area and perimeter, at least the general basics of it right now, you can go ahead and stop this video and you're done with your homework uh, after you answer those four questions. Uh, if you want a little bit more 
Uh, keep watching, and I'm going to show you a couple brain pop videos. All right? I'll see you guys in class tomorrow. Oh, and by the way, I wanted you to know, too, that the password for tomorrow's lesson to get into class is going to be toenails. The rabbits keep stealing our vegetables, Moby. We should build a fence around our class garden. First, we'll need to figure out the perimeter. What is perimeter? The perimeter is the total distance around something. You can think of the perimeter as an outline around something. The lines in the grass show the perimeter of the soccer field. The fences show the perimeter of each piece of land. The map shows the perimeter of each state. But you can also find the perimeter of small things, like my notebook. Good question, Moby. How do you find the perimeter? You can find the perimeter of a shape or figure by adding the lengths of all of its sides. Each side of this packet of seeds is 10 centimeters long. To find the perimeter, add the lengths together. 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10. You can skip count by 10 to find the sum. 10, 20, 30, 40. The perimeter is 40 centimeters. Let's find the perimeter of the carrot section of the garden. To find the perimeter, add the lengths together. 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 5. I know it's a long number sentence, so that's why I add the easier numbers first. Let's see. 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. So now I add 4 plus 3 plus 5. I know 4 plus 5 is equal to 9. 9 plus 3 is equal to 12. The perimeter of the carrot section is 12 feet. It's helpful to break up long number sentences into smaller ones to help you add. What's the perimeter of this shape? Add the links together to find out. 3 plus 5 plus 7. I know that 3 plus 7 is equal to 10. 10 plus 5 is equal to 15. So the perimeter of the shape is 15 centimeters. Figuring out the perimeter can help you build or design things. We want to build a fence that goes around our class garden. What's the perimeter of the garden? I know our class garden is six feet wide and four feet long. Add up all of the measurements to find the perimeter. Six plus four plus six plus four. I know that six plus four makes ten. So now I add ten plus ten. That's equal to 20. The perimeter of the garden is 20 feet. Since we know the perimeter, we can figure out how much fencing we need to put around it. Then we can keep the rabbits out. Nice fence, Moby. I don't think any rabbits will get in our garden now. But I don't think we can get in either. We should paint this wall. Well, first, we should figure out the area of the wall. What 
space area. Area is the measurement of the space inside of a shape. You can calculate the area to figure out how big a room is, or how much carpet you need to cover a floor. You can calculate area to find out how much wallpaper you need, or how much tile you need to cover a wall. In our case, we can calculate the area of the wall to figure out how much paint we need. What are square units? You can find the area of a shape by dividing it into equal squares and counting them. These squares are called square units. This shape is three squares wide and three squares tall. There are nine square units inside the shape. So the area of this shape is equal to nine square units. Great, Moby. We can describe an area in square units. This rectangle is ten squares wide. And five squares tall. It has an area of fifty square units. What is the area of this shape? It's a little tricky because there are two half squares here. First, count the whole squares. There are ten square units. There are also two half square units. Two half square units make one whole square unit. So this shape has an area of eleven square units. How do you calculate area? What is the area of our class garden? I know that our garden is six feet long and four feet wide. We could divide the garden into one foot squares. There are twenty-four of these one-foot squares, so our garden's area is twenty-four square feet. Instead of counting all the squares, you can multiply the length and width to find the area. Six feet times four feet is equal to twenty-four square feet. Let's see. This wall is four meters by two meters. Multiply to find the area. Four meters times two meters is equal to eight square meters. Since we know the area of our wall, we can figure out how much paint we need. Uh, I think we've got enough paint, Moby.